Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you some changes that are happening in Squarespace right now, the first day of August, 2023. So if you've been using Squarespace before today, your menu on the left-hand side of your website, when you logged in, looked like this with pages, design, commerce, marketing, scheduling, no more. Now, when you log in, you'll see something like this. Now you have website commerce marketing. So where did pages and design go? If you click website, you'll see your pages are here. So when you click website, you get to a menu called pages. It's a little confusing, but hopefully this will make sense once we go through it. So your pages live here, but also there are a lot of other things that are now at the bottom of the pages menu. So if you are on a laptop or shorter monitor, be sure to scroll down because there are important things hidden down here under utilities. So we've got system pages like your 404 page. That's what happens when a page is not found. You can style that. We've got the access denied page that's part of member areas. If you're not logged in, you can style your checkout page or your lock screen if your entire site or a page is password protected. Those live there. Most importantly for a lot of us under website tools, this is where you'll now find custom CSS. So before this was in design custom CSS, now it's under website tools inside that website menu if you scroll down below pages. When you click that, that's where your custom CSS is going to live. Uh, code injection, you can also access from here. It's still under settings, um, developer tools, code injection, so you can find it there as well. But that's where it lives here, easy access. Uh, mobile information bar, this is sort of a holdover from a bygone era. This was, It puts an icon at the bottom of the mobile view of your website with a link to directions, uh, phone number, that sort of thing. The styling is not great, so you probably won't use this. And also you can adjust cookies and visitor data from this panel as well. You can turn on or off your cookie banner and then set how um, the analytics work for it. So we've got all of that now under website tools. Now, another question is, well, what happened to the things that were under design as well? Things like your fav icon, your browser icon, or your social sharing image. Now those live now under settings. And if you go to website, you can see browser icon here and social sharing here. Um, also, this is where developer tools live with that access to the other way to get to the uh, site-wide code, um, header and footer code. That's here as well. So two ways to access that. But I wanted to remind you of my favorite shortcut, which is if you click the forward slash button on your keyboard, that's in the US, that's also the key with a question mark. And you type in browser icon, for example, and click, it's gonna take you right to it. So you don't have to necessarily hunt for all, through all the menus to find what you're looking for if you know that shortcut and you know what the thing you're looking for is called. But there you have it. Things are a little different. I imagine that this means more changes are on the way, but we'll sit tight and see. Um, I'm excited to see where this goes. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.